guys, welcome to week six of this pregnancy, uh, baby number two. Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. Um, means a lot, you know, that you sort of take the time out of your day to follow along. <coughs> um, so symptoms for the past week. So of course I've been having nausea. Um, a couple of days ago it went away, like it pretty much almost completely died off. And, um, uh, what was I saying? So I keep getting distracted by watching to see if, um, the camera is keeping up. Ugh. I'm like so out of it. I'm tired and just pregnancy, man, takes it out of you. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, so the nausea went away for a couple of days, which worried me. Um, but the last couple of days, it's really come back. Like, um, I feel okay now, but like generally, I feel sick like in the mornings before I even get up. And then, you know, I try to just kind of sleep a little bit longer and sleep it off a little bit. And Caden usually comes from his room into my room and he'll sleep for a couple more hours in my bed with me. So, you know, I try and, like, sleep it off a little bit, but, <clears throat> yeah, it, it pretty much lasts all day. Like, I haven't thrown up yet, though. It's just, yeah, just, like, a nauseous feeling that's constantly there. Um, fatigue, I've been having every day. Oh, my God. I get so tired. But lately, um, I've been sleeping in, like, really late, so that's helping. And Caden's really great, like... You know, he'll come in and sleep with me, and so it's not a problem. I can get the rest that I need. Um, bloating. Oh, my God. I'm, like, so bloated right now. It's not even funny. I just feel, like, fat and gross and uncomfortable and just... Ugh. <laughs> just horrible. Um, I've had increased appetite. Um, getting way hungrier than, um... I've ever normally been. Um, tingling nipples. Oh, and my boobs are so, so sore. Jeez, they were sore like right from the beginning, but the last couple of days, like I just woke up one morning and I was just like, oh, oh my god, don't touch me. Like it was so bad because I sleep on my stomach and like the second I got up, I was just like, oh my god, that really, really hurts. And then this morning, I literally felt like I had woken up with breast implants. Like, they just, they hurt and I don't, I don't know if they're looking any bigger, but they feel bigger and they just feel so heavy. Um, I've had cramping pretty much every single day, I reckon. But it's nothing bad, there's no pain and it's much less than what a um, period cramping is. So I know that's just my uterus growing. That doesn't doesn't worry me at all. Um, I've had uh, hot flushes a couple of times. Dry mouth. I get a dry mouth a lot, especially um, like during the night. Uh, heightened sense of smell. Oh my god, Caden is just like his father. He's a real sweater. Like he sweats during the night, and he just he just sweats a lot. And he, um, when he's in like socks and shoes and then when you take off his shoes, oh my god, the smell of his feet, I just like, like I'm trying to, not to dry reach right now just at the thought, oh, it's terrible. It's such a little kid, can like, have the stinkiest feet, like stinkier than adult feet, oh, it's terrible. And then when he has, um, you know, dirty nappies, oh my god. Like, it takes every ounce of restraint not to start gagging and have to run away from him. And then um, the other day I was in the supermarket <clears throat> and their fruit section is like right near the deli. And in the deli there's the seafood and oh, that's all I could smell. And I was just like trying to, you know, grab up all the veggies and fruit as quick as I could to get away from it. That was terrible. Um, what else? As usual, I'm reading from a list so I don't forget anything. Oh, very moody. Very moody. Like, just like that, I'll be, like, angry. Um, and I've been, um, 
just feeling kind of down and a bit unhappy and I don't feel like I'm as excited about this pregnancy as I should and I'm pretty sure it's got to do with the fact that it was unplanned and um you know it's just sort of come out of nowhere and we weren't expecting it and we, it's not something we planned on not something we wanted and I don't know I just I don't know whether it's just the pregnancy hormones or whether the pregnancy hormones have triggered something else that's kind of making me feel a bit down I don't know but um I'm actually gonna see a counselor about it just because I think it's better to talk to someone than like I've been trying to sort of <clears throat> I'm the kind of person who um you know when something's going wrong or something's getting to me like you know be it financial um troubles or just anything like um with um how my childhood was I've learnt to sort of rely on myself and do everything for myself so I'm pretty independent so I like to you know sort things out myself rather than uh sort of get other people involved sort of thing like I like to know that I'm strong enough to deal with it on my own and to fix the problem and sort of that sort of thing but um in this case I think it would be best to sort of speak to someone and just I don't know just be able to get um my feelings out there and yeah basically I mean it's nothing like major I've, I've um since the um, since finding out I was pregnant, like, I was having anxiety attacks and everything then, and, um, since then I think I had about a whole week where I didn't have any anxiety until just the other night, a few nights ago, I had it, um, but that's the first time, so it's really dying off, like, it's already getting a lot better. <sighs> Breakout, oh my god, I'm breaking out like anything on my chest, yeah, I'm, I'm breaking out, ugh hate it. I'm, I don't usually get a lot of pimples so it's really uh, it's not the greatest. Um, oh a couple of times I, I, can't, I don't know whether it's heartburn or indigestion but um, twice I've had like like a really slight burning um, going you know like from my chest up my throat. It's, I think it's indigestion. I, I don't know which one it is but yeah I've just had that a couple of times. Um just today, um, I've noticed if I get up really quick, like if I'm sitting down and I get up really quick and, you know, start walking, I get, like, a bit dizzy and faint and, like, I kind of see black, but, but then it goes away real quick. I had it with Caden as well. Um, I've had a bit of a dull ache on my left side, like, beside, I guess it would be around about where your left ovary is. Um... I did a little bit of research and um, a lot of people seem to think that it is um, around lig ligament pain so I'm not worried about it. I mean it's not painful, it's not a stabbing pain so like when I first felt it I did think like oh shit ectopic pregnancy but I don't think it's that because I've only felt it maybe two or three times and um, yeah it's not painful it's just like a really dull like sort of throb I guess you would call it. But um, it doesn't last long and it's not real painful. Yeah, it's just annoying really. Um, I feel like my abdomen is already growing. As ridiculous as that sounds, like like down low, um, I guess like right where your pelvic bone is, it just feels like a little poofy and like it's sort of rounding out. <clears throat> um, and also... Oh, I'm a little bit sick. Um, my jeans, um, they feel tighter and um, oh, so uncomfortable, like sitting down. And not even just the jeans, just sitting in general. Like I just feel like, oh, it's hard to explain. It feels like there's just not enough room and I need to like be sitting up real straight like because looks I'm such a sloucher but like I feel like I need to be sitting up straight so it all sort of fits properly I don't know it's really hard to explain I just feel like I'm getting cramped already which is ridiculous I know because I mean it's what the size of a piece of rice but that's what I'm feeling anyway um so yeah jeans feeling so 
ugh, uncomfortable and horrible so I like unbutton them the second I sit down and undo the, the fly. Um, <clears throat> what else? Our cravings so far have been tomatoes on toast and potato gems. I think that's about all. Probably a couple of other things like I've thought about that I've been like, yeah, mm, yeah, I wouldn't mind them right now. But I wouldn't consider it a real craving. Um, we've chosen one name so far for a girl. And um, we're not going to share that. I don't know whether we'll share it before the birth. We're definitely going to find out what it is. And I'll share whether it's a girl or a boy. But I'm not sure when or if we'll share the name. Um... Um, I want a girl, I reckon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I want a girl. Yeah. Girls are so pretty and... <clears throat> Beggie, my boyfriend, his real name's Matthew, but we all call him Beggie because it's um, to do with his last name. Um, he has dark hair, so I'm finally going to get, you know, the dark-haired baby that I wanted. Caden was supposed to have my dark hair, but instead he came out the splitting image of his father. Um, yeah, so I just imagine like a little girl with long dark hair and little little bows in her hair. And I've got to wrap this up real quick so I don't have to do two parts. Um, okay, so I want a girl. Beggie is happy either way, just as long as it's healthy. Um, my beta HCG level at 4 weeks, 4 days was 810. And then I had it done again at five weeks, five days, because I was worried about the symptoms dropping off, the nausea dropping off. And yeah, five weeks, five days, it was 13,500, which gives it a doubling time of 47.3 hours, which is perfect. Um, we have a dating scan set for next week on the 17th at 12pm. Uh, I'll be six weeks and six days, and I need to drink a litre of water from 10.30 to 11 and go in with a full bladder. Um, I told somebody that I was going to show all the tests that I did. Um, so these are the internet cheapies. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that. But you can clearly see that it went from really, really light to, to being darker than, um, you know, you know that, this other line. Oh god, it's on the other side. Um, yeah, you know what I mean. And then these are the two digital ones that I did. Uh, what is it? This is the first one that I did. Mm, the lighting in here is shocking. Uh, yeah, you can kind of see that one. That one is quite faint. And then this one is obviously a lot darker. So there are all the tests I've done. In total, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of the internet cheapies and two digitals. Um, okay, now I'll do the belly shot and measure and that'll be it and I hope I can get it in under 15 minutes. Okay, so here is the five week, uh, uh, six week belly with the top on. I don't know if you can tell but... um. I am looking bigger, but I am pretty sure that's just from being bloated. So nothing to see, really. Uh, measure. I bought the world's longest measuring tape, I swear. Um, so I'm just going to go around the biggest part of my stomach. Which is 84 centimetres still. So I haven't grown. Um, I'll stick in some photos at the end. Or maybe I'll put them at the front. Don't know. Alright, that's it. I'll see you uh, next week for seven weeks. Bye.